Most men need to remember that if you're going to do a suit, the suit must be fitted. Not stuck on, it must be fitted. Contoured to your body or slightly off your body. Fitted is just a little more off your skin, but it should be fitted. Fitted, the bigger guy, they think that they have to do bigger because they're bigger, but you don't want to look huge. So you still do a fitted suit to your body. And remember, the belt should match your shoes. Not that you decide you want to wear a black belt because you only have brown shoes, no. If you're going to be dressed impeccable, everything must look very well put together. So the shoes and belt must match. The socks should be, not all the time, but should be an extension of your pants. We have our model Damien, and for me this is my business casual because it's not as stuffy with the suit and the whole jacket so it's a lot more relaxed and you still look very professional um, which is what is needed for the GQ guy and it's trendy, it's modern and the way it's fitting is a lot more sleek it's contoured to Damien's body, it is shorter and the actual base cut shouldn't be any longer than this because it's hitting the belt and that's where it's supposed to be and you have a nice tie which is blending with the actual purple of the shirt and is a slight contrast in the slighter color to the purple. Then you have a nice form fitting pants, it's a more European cut. But now the trick when you are getting your pants measured, most pants these days actually come with a seam. You have to now get done by a tailor and actually have it altered to suit your length. The key is when you fold, if you're gonna fold under for a seamless look, it should hit the top of the pants, the actual shoe, sorry, it should hit the top of the shoe and not bulky and hanging over the shoe. You don't want to be shooting, but it should be finished that way just to the top of the shoe. If we're going to do a cuff and fold it up and have it done that way, it should be at least an inch or an inch and a quarter above this way so it looks finished and that is a completely different look. Most people don't like that look or don't even like putting a seam in the pants. That's entirely up to you but this is how it should fit just above the actual shoe and no longer and all bulky and bulging like this. No, that's not how the pants are supposed to fit. People want to actually cover the shoe. It's not about covering the shoe, it's having a nice clean finished look for the pants. A black belt and a very simple silver buckle no detail no fubu or armani or anything even though i love armani it is not about the brand it's simple it is understated it's just very professional and clean with the shoes it is a square tip it has a little detail to it but it's very clean it has the same sort of detail in the pants so it actually matches back as well and it just looks absolutely finished for the casual exec look. You have the executive look here that Damon is wearing quite well today. You have an all grey suit. Every guy should have an all grey suit in their wardrobe. I mean it's clean, it's finished and it's absolutely versatile for most occasions. If not every occasion. The actual inside shirt, clean, crisp white shirt and a detailed tie. Just a little white to just give that little balance to the actual tie. You can do a stripe, you can do whatever. I mean, any imagination within this color scheme. I want to do a green, I want to do a blue, but at the end of the day, you can do whatever you care to in terms of the print or the style for the tie. It is clean, it's finished. I mean, and the sleeves are actually fitted to his body. There's not that much room with the sleeve. The shoulders are supposed to be hugging. The actual shoulder pads shouldn't make you look overly square or bulky or hanging over your shoulders. Everything should be very fitted and formed to your body. Yeah.
Now, if you're going to cuff your jacket and put your hands anywhere near your pocket, it should actually flow. I mean, if there's any resistance and you have too much stress to actually do it, which Dim is about to do right now, the jacket is too long, you should get a different jacket or alter it. Okay. It should be very easy to cuff the jacket. I mean, it's just, if you have any resistance, the jacket is way too long. Now, relax yourself. The tie, even though it's not seen, you have, for whatever reason, you have to open your jacket. The tie should fit just above the belt or on the belt, not below or too high up. Then it's going to look a little strange. If you tie that tie properly, or there's too much white and it's not finished. So just above the belt or on the belt, the tie should fit. So if you have to decide, for whatever reason, you're too stuffy at work or work becomes too hot or you're getting into your car and you want to take off your jacket, hang it back on your hanger, and this, and anyone sees you know, this is the clean finished look that they're going to see before you finish with back with the jacket. We have a clean classic pointy tip, even though it's more of a rounded pointy tip, but it's clean, there's no detail, there's no embellishment. I mean, this is a clean tuxedo type shoe and it's perfect with this suit to give that total look.